In this video, we're going to be using the club, the novelist, the Feather SS Shavet, and we'll announce a new giveaway. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in. Welcome in. We have a good one for you today. We're going to be using The Novelist by The Club or Ariana and Evans. And if you remember The Club, this comes to you for under $5 an ounce. And on a call chart there, that is a fair price. We give that a score of three out of five. The scent on this is very nice. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. It's a little peppery, a little spicy, but also bright as well. I like it a lot. I give it a score of four out of five in scent quality. The scent strength on this is pretty robust. It's definitely medium high to my nose. I give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. This soap is a tallow based soap. It is in the Kaizen 2 formula. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is arguably the best soap out there in the artisanal realm at least and many people really love it and I do as well. It is really a phenomenal base and it's easy to lather so I like that about it a lot. I'll show you a lather shot right there. I had no problems whatsoever creating a nice creamy lather uh, in terms of ease of use, five out of five. So we're looking forward to using the club, the novelist today. We're also going to be using today the Feather SS Shavette Razor because this is Shavette uh, Sunday and I have a um, Feather Pro Guard blade in there that I've had in this razor for quite some time. So we look forward to using this today. These razors, by the way, fluctuate wildly in cost now. You can find them anywhere from $69.99 all the way up to over $100. I found one site below where they're still $69.99, so I'll link it, but I cannot vouch for the site because I've never done business with them, but I'd link for you below the, the least expensive place I could find for this razor because the price has gone up a little bit. So try to get the best price on this razor if you can. All right, what are we going to do now? Oh, let's go ahead and start out with mentioning the giveaway winner from the last uh, week, and we'll put it on the screen right there for you. Finn Segway, Finn Segway, you are the winner. Email me, cdb at imcdb.com, and uh, I will send you your gift card for the Razor Company. And during this video, we'll announce another giveaway, so stay tuned for that. All right, enough yapping, let's get to shave. <laughs> all right, we're starting by misting the face, and I remind you, uh, I always link all the products that I'm using below in addition to lather tutorials because a lot of people say, you know, how do you lather soaps? Well, there are tutorials below. So please uh, make sure you look at the, the links in the description below the video because there's valuable information there. All right, let's get into it today. Ariana and Evans brush, Ariana and Evans soap. This should be really good today. If I'm a good shaver, it will be a great shave and that's pretty much what it comes down to most of the time. If you're good, <laughs> <laughs> your shave will be good and you know most of the equipment out there today is quite good so it's kind of hard to find something that's not very good so we look forward to an excellent shave today I'm using my HCNC bowl by the way I'm still testing going back and forth with the Cayune uh, or, or however you pronounce that other bowl and when time permits and believe me I don't have a ton of time these days but when time permits I'm going to make a video comparing those two and giving my thoughts and that should be really good. Today again we'll be at the hospital all day so we're uh, we're uh, <clears throat> continuing to plug away on that. Yesterday was kind of a rough day. She, uh, My mom has two days of very intensive heavy chemo. These are the last two chemotherapies for a while you know following the uh, stem cell transplant and she was pretty nauseated and uh, it was heavier chemo than she's used to so it was a little bit uh, definitely wore out yesterday so we have one more day of that today and then you know hopefully things will start to get a little bit better or at least our fingers are crossed and we're saying our prayers all right let's dry our hands off because you do want dry hands when you're wielding a sharp object of any kind really be it knife or otherwise and let's get into it nice and smooth as always with the feather SS this is definitely a nice smooth Shaver, it's a good shaver. These have been around for quite a long time. These razors, I don't know how I got lather on my shirt already, but that happens. Um, very good quality 
Shavette style razor. They use the Artist Club style blade, not half DE blade, which some Shavettes use, so keep that in mind. But it's a nice smooth shaver. It's one of my favorite. Um, it might be my second favorite Shavette type razor. My first favorite, of course, is the Mighty Weck, but this one isn't far behind it, honestly. Um, I like this razor a lot. I've used it a lot and I'm, I'm comfortable with it. And that really is a is an important thing when you're using open blade. Just be comfortable with whatever you're using. And uh, it just feels nice and smooth. And that's exactly what you're after in your shave. Smooth, easy going shave. If you feel any kind of roughness, make some sort of adjustment. Change the blade. Change the angle, do something. You should not feel roughness of any sort during your shave. If you are, something is off. So always be aware of that. And we'll go here to the other side. And I don't imagine this shave today will take too long because normally I only have to do two passes with a, a straight razor or shavette type razor. I get more hair um, quicker with shavettes or straights. Now that doesn't mean that it's necessarily a better shave, but I do notice on the first stroke, I'm getting far more than I do with a DE typically. And I'm not sure why that is, but it just happens. I notice that you can feel it. And so that's something that happens for me. It may not happen for you. You may find that, you know, they work just the same. But for me, I always find two passes and maybe, you know, a touch up here or there is, is uh, usually adequate for me when using a straight razor or a shave at. By the way, if I didn't mention it, I hope you're all having a great Sunday today. Um, let's go ahead and announce the next uh, giveaway. And that will be for, once again, a $25 gift card that I will... Uh, let's uh, pull that up a little bit. $25 gift card that I will purchase from the Razor Company. And to enter that giveaway, just uh, this time just write IMCDB below. IMCDB below. And we will... Uh, we will do another random drawing. That's the way I do all the giveaways, folks. They're, they're just random. And we let the YouTube random comment picker pick the winner. We put in, essentially what we do is, all I do is put in the URL, which is the website address, to the last video where the giveaway was. I put in the keyword, like this time it'll be IMCDB. I put in the extra entries, and the extra entries are for the, you know, the Patreon supporters. And then I hit the button and whoever comes up is the winner. And that's the only fair way I can do it is to just randomize it. You know, if I could, I'd give something to everybody, but all of us, you know, have certain means we have to live within and, you know, but I'm trying to always give back, um, give back via my knowledge and give back via uh, whatever I can, you know, send you or offer. And while I've been down here, I wanted to continue giving. And so gift cards were the easiest way to do it because I'm not really going in a lot of public places, you know, right now with, especially with, you know, my mother being super uh, sensitive or super susceptible to any sort of illness. So everything we're doing right now is just for, to make sure that she doesn't uh, catch anything, you know, additional flu or any other sort of, you know, the other big one that's going around. Um, just trying to do everything we can. And by the way, this soap, I haven't mentioned it yet, terrific. Great scent, very, very pleasant. I like it a lot. Um, again, to me, it's a combination of brightness, a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. It's a very nice scent. It's not a scent that I would use every day. Like it wouldn't be a daily driving sort of scent for me, but once in a while, I love this sort of scent. I, I prefer it. A, I prefer scents that are generally a little bit cleaner and brighter, but this one, every now and then you want to change it up. You know, you want something a little bit different, and this one provides that for me. It's very pleasant, very nice, and the quality, first rate. So on quality, you know the score with A&E is 5 out of 5. There's just no question. It is a phenomenal soap. And by the way, if you're not a member of the Shaving Shop Club, um, Pete has rolled in additional discounts in the club. And so that's something to consider. If you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club and it's $12.99, I think for six months, I think you get 20% off. And now um, you get additional discounts depending on, like if you buy a couple of soaps or, you know, soaps and splashes. And he, he's rolling in additional discounts and value of the club. And I think that's a wonderful thing. All right. 
Very nice. Just make sure to try to keep your angle as flat as you can, uh, at least to start. When you come in with the razor, don't be coming in you know, at an extreme angle and don't be coming in with too much force, what I call too hot. Don't come in too, uh, too hot and don't come in at too steep an angle because uh, that will leave a mark, which I call a memory line because it, <laughs> it, there will be a line for a, a good while there and you will remember it, so hence memory line. So you see how I come in flat? And then I just rotate it out to the desired cutting angle. And I'm also pulling down here a little bit to stretch. Just a gentle touch. And I think that's the hurdle that straight razor shavers and shavette shavers have to get, up, get over early on is just gentle touch. You don't have to manhandle the razor. Just um, press it to the face uh, gently and then let it do the cutting and uh, it works out really well as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing and just be mindful that you know stretching appropriately is certainly important you can watch guys like uh, Maddie Lindholm who does a lot of lessons on stretching like one of the things he taught me is when I pull down here it creates a hollow right there see that hollow right there and you can get around that by pulling in other directions but what, what I do is I kind of just keep going over the area until I get it so whatever type of stretching you develop early on, you'll probably continue to do it. So whatever you do is what you do. Meaning if you develop a habit of stretching a certain way, you'll, it'll, probably, you'll probably always do it that way. So try to figure out how best to stretch early on so you don't develop any habits that carry over. Um, because that will happen. And we all know it's hard to change <laughs> habits once they're established. Because once you start straight razor and shave at shaving, it'll just, it'll feel natural to you and you'll do the same thing all the time for the most part, or at least that's where you should end up. Um, the only problem with that, if you're doing things badly, you will carry over those bad habits and you'll do it badly all the time. But in truth, you can do it any way you like as long as you get the result you want. So there's really no hard and fast rules other than don't come in too steep and too hot would be, that's sort of a cardinal rule, I would say. But otherwise, it's not bad at all. It's fun. It's a fun thing to learn. I prefer shaving with double-edged razors because that's my first love. It's what got me here. But I enjoy, you know, maintaining the skill set of using straights and shavettes as well. And it's a nice change of pace. I do it usually once a week on uh, Sunday when I'm traveling. Or, excuse me, except for when I'm traveling. You know, and I'm not able to do it. But mostly I do it every Sunday. Uh, or Saturday. Sometimes I'll change it up and do it on a Saturday. And that was an excellent shave. So <laughs> let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with The Club, The Novelist, and I will run down the scores for you. Cost, three out of five. Scent quality, four out of five. Scent strength, 4.5 out of five. Ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 21.5 out of 25. This is an excellent soap and I really enjoyed using it today. I also enjoyed using the Feather SS Shavette Razor. It is an excellent Shavette type razor. Just make sure you check that price out and try to get a good price on this, but it is an excellent shaver. We used our Arion and Evans synthetic brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish things off today once again with fine platinum. And we're working on this one. We're getting it worked down one day at a time. And that's really the way everything is, isn't it? One day at a time. That's how we have to take it. Oh yes, and that is nice. Woo! Gonna be off to the races and having a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have some great shaves and a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.